Hi guys and welcome to another quick technical Wednesday rundown here on the Kiki and Manny Photography blog. My name is Manny and in today's tutorial I want to show you guys how to create a PDF in Bridge. Yes, that is right, in Bridge. Most of us export our images and work in Word then and create a PDF file and send that to a client. Now today I want to show you guys how to quickly and easily do it in Bridge. Because most of us need to send clients a PDF file with a selection sheet or you want to introduce yourself to a new client. Uh, agency whatever and you need to send them a new portfolio with a PDF format so how to do that that's what I want to go and show you guys quickly today in bridge okay so what I'm gonna do now is move down and open my bridge and in bridge I'm currently in the normal bridge with my normal workspace and everything is normal on the left hand side I've got my content area on the right hand side my previewer and it's pretty normal workspace now what you will have to do is go here to the top to this page with saying output and select that and directly will say output to web or PDF. Now you are able to do a web gallery or a PDF. We want to do a PDF so selecting PDF. Directly my whole workspace changes. On the left hand side I still got my favorites, folders, content and review and I'm still in the content area. Then output preview. This is your PDF that you're doing and you're currently seeing a preview of the current PDF. Then on the right hand side you've got two options PDF or web gallery. We want to create a PDF so we're going to select PDF and directly you see the whole workspace or interface of that PDF and your uh, adjustments that you can do to create that PDF. So the first step that we want to do is a PDF we select that and in our template we don't want to have a custom template we want to have two by two cells you're still able to say two up greetings card four by five, five contact sheet five by eight contact sheet and so on I mostly use two by two cells and good to go like that then if you want to you can create your own template or delete a template now once you've done with all these adjustments you always have to hit refresh preview so that you can really see what's going on here so I'm going to say refresh preview quickly. Okay, and I directly noticed that I've also got extensions and file name down here and I just got one image selected. So what I'll do is go over to my content area again and select another image. Now if we selected these two images, going to hit refresh preview and it's rendering. Directly you see, cool, I've got these two images now next to each other in my PDF and I'm ready to save it actually but we still want to do some adjustments for our PDF so what I'll do is hit the small arrow here and under documents first thing we want to say is page present is international paper yes size a4 I mostly use a4 for PDF if you want to you're still able to use a5, a6, a3 and so on so I'm going to use a4 width and height I don't change that at all because it works with the a4 then quality 300 pixels per inch I want to use 72 pixels per inch nice and small the images not ready for print but they're good enough to be seen and it's going to reduce my megabytes so if you send it via email they will be nice and short this whole PDF so since we turned the quality down we can turn our quality up a little bit here I will change my sharpening quality and the picture quality to 90% which is good enough for me then if you want to also this is white at the moment if you want to change the background to black red yellow whatever we can do that now change that to yellow ah yet red sorry and now what you have to do is go refresh preview again until you see it so now it's all red and everything which doesn't look nice at all wouldn't send it like that it's just for the tutorial quickly so I'm going to move it back to white and say refresh preview then it will be white again and nice and neat okay so this is the way we want to keep it then if you want to also have open with a password if it's confidential stuff and you just want to send it to a specific person you could add a password then you'll have to tap the small button at the front and say open with password type in whatever you want to and save it like that we don't want a password now so we're gonna ignore this now permission password as well as also almost works like the same way so that's good for us now our whole document is set we can minimize this again now for our layout we want to have it a cross fit or you can have a down fit I just want to show you guys quickly refresh preview so these images will be always underneath each other but I want to have them next to each other so I'm going to say again a cross fit and preview or refresh the preview then we've got it next to each other looks nice and neat columns rows horizontal vertical all the stuff I never work with this really 
what I do work with is use auto spacing because then it will be spaced nice and neat and everything fits to the best and ra rotate for best fit okay sleep it that way nice and neat all right then I'm going to minimize the layout again repeat one photo per page uh, yep but I don't work with that at all then minimize that overlays um, file name and extension that is important for me I never want to add this file name and extension rather if it's for a private thing yes maybe if you send it to a client no I don't want to add this blend this out again file name and extension say refresh preview and whoops out of our way okay now I change the whole PDF file the format of the image this is because we in layout we have to say rotate to best fit put this off make it small again say refresh preview and that are we've got our images again the way we wanted them okay file name and extension is out page number if you want to you can add one place on header or place on footer never work with that then I'll minimize that again on my header I mostly want a header saying Manny's portfolio or whatever work or whatever shooting day or whatever it was so what I want to say first is gonna have it centered and say it's a whatever cowboy shoot then I'm gonna say cowboy shooting and sorry cowboy cowboy shooting and aerial font yes size that color black all good for me refresh preview and da da directly you see it here at the top cowboy shooting okay maybe I want to have it even bigger written and I want to have it as 18 font 18 refresh preview oh that's a little bit too big for our sheet so we have to take it down a little bit 16 okay it's still too big don't know why it's doing that 14 refresh preview still too big okay so I'm gonna take it down to 12 alright that works 12 works for us cowboy shooting all good alright so we keep it with that with our header if you want to add a footer you can also add a footer I never do that playback yes that's important for me open in a full screen mode if you want to have your client seeing the stuff really big and nice then you can say open in full screen mode or automatically advance next page so it means that if they see the stuff it automatically advances to the next page which I wouldn't do because people want to look at the stuff at their own time okay loop off the last page no don't want that okay so pretty much we don't want anything from this minimize that again and now watermark that's important for me I want to add a watermark always so tick that full box at the front saying foreground yes you want it to the foreground place on each image and uh, no we don't want that now you've got two options either insert text or insert image so what I want to do is say insert image down here I have to select my area where I have located my stuff so my images my logos are mostly in my computer somewhere then I'll locate my file okay say okay for that and if you want to you can still scale that a little bit sorry for this move a little bit down you still you can still scale it opacity horizontal offset vertical offset if you want to rotation anything that you want to still change that you are still able to change that mine is good like that so I'm going to say refresh preview and directly I know it is cool got my waterfront in there as well my images and my header so now I want to add some more images what I'll have to do is go over to my content area again and in my content area I'm going to select another two images via holding command selecting them and I've got four images selected now as you guys can see now I'm going to hit refresh preview it renders shortly and you'll directly see it got my four images next to each other on a a4 sheet so if you want to add now say all of your images you are able to tap all of these images let me just hit command as well and pretty much I'm going to select eight images now or say I'm going to select 10 images and I want to integrate them I'm just going to say refresh preview and they will be all integrated nice and neat with my heading and my watermark in the background now the last step that I still have to do is if you want to view your PDF after saving you are able to hit this button at the front if not leave it out I would add it to see and make it another control if it worked okay tap that and the last step you have to do is hit save now you have to say a new window will pop up where you want to save it I want to save it as the Kiki tutorial so I'm going to say Kiki Tut and I want to move it to my desktop okay after that hit save and you're good to go it renders quickly and whoop there it pops up already in my PDF reader 
I've got this whole new uh, PDF sheet that we just created in Bridge and I've got everything right in front of me with all of my images. So if I'm going to go down now, you'll see all these images were imported really quickly and easy. And if you know how too long it takes to do this in Word, it takes a few minutes. So if you want to do it with Bridge, it's super nice, super quick and easy to do. And your stuff is copyrighted and it, your meters data is most probably added to it as well. And stuff is safe. So if you want to zoom in even more, it's not that sharp because we obviously changed it down to 72 ppi, but it looks nice and neat. You can just minimize that or X that again and it will be on your desktop and ready to send. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys a little bit to create a quick PDF with Bridge. Hope it was very useful, the tutorial. See you guys next week on another Technical Wednesday Rundown. My name is Manny. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.